Hello everyone and welcome back once again to RimWorld Alpha 15 and to the town of Karma where everyone is just chilling out and eating some food and just generally enjoying themselves. Honestly, our batteries are starting to fill up. I'm fairly happy with this. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing in this episode, we are in fact going to be naming our new scholars. Why are you outside? What are you doing outside? What are you doing? First, we're going to be finding out why you're outside. That is not... Uh, ha, ha, ha. I remember something that I was meant to do before and that I have not done. Yes. We do not want you outside doing any of this work out there. No, 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 no. This is this is bad work to be doing. Uh, I will, however, allow this to be home. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm not going to adjust that one too much yet because I've got immediate plans for how I'm going to be changing that area. Let's remove all of this. There we go. We just want to bring the whole colony so that people aren't going outside to like clean things that don't need to be cleaned. There we go. So, first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be renaming our character here, NG the Engineer. Honestly, that is such a good name. Unfortunately, your your real name is not NG after all. It is Lisa. There we are. Welcome to the colony. Now, given how good a cook you are, um, yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna move Buttercup down to a rank three on cooking. So Lisa is pretty much our primary cook now, um, and uh, well, I mean you're really good with this sort of stuff. No, I, I will actually have you all working on that. Lisa is just a better cook because she's wearing a chef's hat. Let's, let's be honest with this. All right, let's uh, get everything inside. Now, we've got this little room we want to set up. We also have some extra work we want to do. We want to uh, work on the floors. We want to smooth these floors that people are working and living in because it will greatly improve the beauty of the room. So let's uh, quickly do that. That should massively impact people's overall happiness. And also, ooh, Gentry from Karma was wandering nearby and noticed you could use some help. He would like to join your colony for a while. He is a human computer, <laughs> and his traits are optimist and green thumb. I like this, what it tells me about them. I accept this person. Gentry, welcome to the colony. Let us have a quick gander at you. Well, first and foremost, let's uh, paste these down. There we go. Um, you are a decent doctor, though. So, uh, yeah, you're going to be doctoring one there. Uh, you're a fairly good handler, too, so I'll have you there. Uh, as far as cooking, yeah, you can do it. Uh, I wouldn't really want you to be doing it too much. But certainly you can. Um, you can do mining on a three, plant cutting on a three as well. However, all of these, no. And that one there... However, you are a very good researcher, so... Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Uh, everyone right now is just... Sleep whenever you possibly can, my friends. Um, we clearly need more, more rooms, though. That much is a given. Okay, well, more rooms. Where will more rooms go? We could put more rooms over here, except for that grave. Uh, we could have some more rooms along here if we really wanted to. And uh, perhaps perhaps there is a use in doing that. Uh, first, though, we would need to deconstruct all of that. And then we'll build out of here. Right, let's uh, get that dug down. This will be a little corridor. In fact, if we do that, then I could just have this be a three-wide corridor, which is actually quite nice when you think about it. Let's open up my inventory. Uh, we're starting to run a little bit low on steel, honestly. Not super enthused about that one. This one can stay. There we go. Those ones can leave. These can be drawn out. There we are. There's another room. Uh, perhaps we could go ahead and mine in here. At least as far as this. And get another room there. I don't know about that. We'll see. We'll have to see. Um, I will want a wall there, though. And then a steel door as well. So there we go. That will be our setup for a new new area. Now, 
we're probably going to want... Um, well, if we bring this wall all the way across, then it'll allow us to to carry over the power as well, which would be very useful. Right, okay, crack on, everyone. We're going to have to start thinking about defenses soon, though. We've got a lot of people, but not many weapons. Gentry, what are you equipped with? You're equipped with a pistol. That's not too bad. Let's have a look at your character. You're very good at shooting, my lord. Right, so, Gentry, Kane Gentry, was born during a catastrophic war in which both sides used napalm extensively. He grew up helping his parents in an infirmary, treating the cascade of horrific burns from the battlefields. He was left with a lifelong fear of fire, but very good with, uh, with medicking. And then a human computer. Gentry turned out to have an excellent memory and a gift for performing complex calculations in his head. A mid-world dictator decided to employ Gentry to keep track of his state's finances and expenditure, since uh, electrical computers were too susceptible to hacking. Art is dis disabled, unfortunately, but he's very, very happy all the time. And what about Lisa? Let's have a look at Lisa's backstory. Foundry apprentice. Lisa grew up as an apprentice in the foundries on an industrial world. This experience gave her metalworking skills and strong muscles. And combat engineer. Um, she built bases, fixed guns, and repaired vehicles for the army, which she wasn't when she wasn't shoot, shooting people. That is, okay. Well, uh, she's volatile. Mm. On a hair trigger, yeah, that's not so great. But cyclic dull does mean that she will be a lot better at avoiding breaking. Ow, oh, poop. You're fifty-eight, six. You got a bad back. Never mind. We'll we'll uh, tag you for an early bionic spine then. And we're also going to need steel walls. There we go. Let's get all of this sorted out for us. Perfect. Alright, we will go ahead and we'll deconstruct these walls. That being said, I think we probably want to deconstruct all of that as well. We'll have the power run up here and along. I think is going to be the best way of doing it. There we are. And there as well. And once we've got power running all the way along, we should be good. Oh dear. Gun has gone food poisoning. Well, that's rubbish. Let's have a look at you then, Gun. How are you doing? Food poisoning. Consciousness, max 50%. Yeah. That's rough. To be fair, that is pretty rough. Right, well, we want a new bed, so let's get that built right away. So we want a... Oh, we lack steel at this point. That is remarkably bad. Okay, someone's going to have to go outside and do some mining work for me. We've got a lot of steel out there. Now, I need to have a look at how people are doing. You're fine, gun. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, and you're fine. Wow. Okay, no one needs to be restricted then. You can all go out freely and uh, get stuff sorted. Well, there we are. Now, I'm not sure if I really went over the way that the mod crafting um, hysteresis, I believe it's called. I, I'm getting that name wrong all the time, but um, just to, to cover, just in case I, I didn't mention in the early episodes, this all down here is added by that mod. Now, one of the big problems is, again, with, with cooking is a prime example, or, or any really constant um, craft where um, the, the produce is used up, the output of that craft is used up repeatedly. If you have a bill to make a certain amount of anything, and you make all the way up to the, the amount, in this case 10, then walk away to do another job, then unfortunately, the moment someone eats even one of them, you'll stop doing that job and rush back. But you might have walked quite far away in order to do that job. Say you were off to haul something. All of a sudden, you have to run all the way back to the colony just to make one meal. And then you leave, and then a few seconds later, someone else eats another meal. So you stop whatever you're doing and go back again and again. You spend more time walking around than you do actually um, performing even this task, let alone any other task. So what this does is it means that once you've built up to a certain amount, then the bill is put on pause until it drops below that uh, the, the threshold here, so five. So whenever someone's cooking, it means they've got at least five things that they need to make because my my food threshold has dropped below five, so it's it, there's, there's five or six items that need to be made currently. So they'll go down there, they'll have a fair bit of work to do there. And then after that, they can go off and do something else for quite some time because they won't get called back anytime soon. And that is super, super important. Right, we need that steel bed and we are going to have to wait, unfortunately, to get it. So 
How about getting some miners out there? Thank you very much, Becca. That is super useful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, well, quite a lot of these places have been sorted. You know what? I'm also going to allow chunks in here for now. Just for the time being, let's let's get all these chunks hauled, shall we? Because they are a bit of an eyesore. Get all those chunks hauled. None of these chunks, though. Cancel that. There we go. Well, this room is much nicer. Let's actually have a look at you. Uh, Peter, my love, a new colony hope. Got some love. <laughs> okay. Feeling bad, though. Low expectations. But generally speaking, you're fairly happy in that room. The beauty isn't great. It's 36%. Comfort's not too bad. Oh. Everything is better in the, in, in the world when when you're spending some time with your lover, apparently. I mean, I can, I can totally see that. The world looks brighter when you're in a happy mood. He is also great at making everything look good in the world. Now, we've built this research bench, but we've not actually told anyone to research. There are a couple of things that we're going to want. Now, let's have a look through all of this. Um, smithing, brewing, basic fuses would be super important, I think. We'll get that going. We would also like uh, stone cutting. Actually, stone cutting... First, let's get the stone cutting bench up so that we can use up some of these um, blocks that are everywhere. There we go. That's brilliant. There we are. People just chilling out, playing around there. Now, I've been told that the fallout only affects places where it actually lands. That is, walls are unnecessary, only the roofs are required. Now, I wasn't sure about that, but I'm very happy to hear it now. We've got a group of people coming straight for us. One is wearing some of the desert clothing, aren't they? Why are you wearing desert clothing? It isn't even remotely hot. They're all right. Right, well, let's draft everyone. Currently, we haven't set up any real defenses. But for now, we're going to set up in here since we've got a, an available wall. Let's get everyone over there. Right, okay. Now, I would like you... In, well, actually, no. I would like you behind. Someone with a some decent armor in front. You there. Um, sure. Buttercup, you're actually not drafted. You don't need to do anything. Uh, you there. Let him get out. And you can pop down there as well. There we go. Now let's go slowly with this. There we are. Already got a couple of solid hits. Right, pull back. There we are. One down. Very nice work. Now you can move back out. Now, unfortunately, you don't have a shield, so this isn't safe at all for you. That one was way off, and I could see that. Right, I do want you over there, though. Both of you. Get over there. Up you go. Keep shooting if you can. Now, they have not got the same range as our... Oh, what on earth are you doing? Please, no. Fire there, thank you. If you can head out. Um, sure, go ahead. Melee attack. Oh, what's that squeak there? Oh, it looks like Midna was trying to take Siri's food. That was very, very silly. Right, they're fleeing, but I think it's too late. Oh, damn it. Well, on the plus side. You can go and be treated straight away. Uh, if there is actually even a bed, I'm afraid, Becca, this is now a medical bed. Go and get treated, Gentry. Go lie down straight away. You're undrafted. Go rest until healed. Um, gun, head out. In fact, both of you head out. We want to take these people down before they can get away. No, go on, Lisa. Follow him. Kill him. Becca, you're fine. Who's our primary doctor? Becca is our primary doctor. Fantastic. And you can just take care of Gentry then. Going all the way down there. Um, Carly, go ahead. You can head back in. Let's do what we can. Okay, Lisa, you head back because that is a bit too dangerous. All right, well, we're just going to accept that they got away. And we are going to... And forbid everything. However, we've got three bodies out there. Now, let's have a look at their gear. Head wrap is rubbish. That head wrap is significantly less rubbish. We'll strip you. Um, 
the desert robes are terrible. We, we won't bother. Right, so we need three graves. So let's get those down. Hmm. Where would be a good place for this? I guess we could have some graves. I mean, we can happily pop a couple more out here. One, two. One, two. There we go. That'll do. Right, okay then, everyone. Well done. Please get this work done swiftly. There we are. I would like that brought in. Link skin desert head wrap. Now, that has a very good effect on um, thermal. It protects from from uh, heat in the same way that fur protects from cold. So we'll store those, definitely. There we are. You can go out and get the last little bit. That bit I didn't actually care too much about. Oh, it looks like uh, Becca decided, yeah, I'd actually like a head wrap. Fair enough. Has anyone taken care? Yes, fantastic. Well done. Okay, well, they're continually harassing our power generation, which makes a lot of sense. It's what you should go for, realistically. Uh, will we be able to cut out this entire... We will. Oh, that's very good. That's very, very good. All right, so we're going to have a bunch more rooms. Oh, dear. Becker has got sensory mechanites. Lisa's got sensory mechanites. And Gentry, he's got sensory mechanites. That is awful. Right, well, these mean they're going to be in constant pain, and they're going to be getting tired much faster. But they're better at a lot of things, but it means that we're going to have to really improve their overall uh, situation. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back. Um, there we are. We're going to have to desperately improve this. Right, this needs to be rebuilt. So reinstall over here. That'll do. Get that up there, please. We definitely need some of the steel from over there. Okay, we've got a little bit. So let's build a steel door here. And also dig out this area there. We want to have a, a wall going along. Now, Gentry is not going to be super happy with the lack of... Um, items in here, but we can quickly work on that. So lighting, I would like a steel nightstand there, and then another one just here. There we go. And I think over here, let's see, one there, and the nightstand. I just need to find which way it's facing. There we go. Shouldn't take us too long to set all of this up. We want a steel bed as well. Right there. Okay. So we should be able to get all of this sorted. And we don't have any... Oh, well, yeah, we'll be leaving that bed down there because we have got uh, too many people. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got... Uh, we need one more room at present. I guess we could build it over there, perhaps. We also want this room sorted out there. And power can come along over there. We can have a light down here. Cargo pods. Ooh, now that is interesting. Let's go and find those. What have we got? Chocolate! Ah, oh, perfect. We need it so bad. We need our people to not be upset. There we are. The eclipse is ending. That is good, because our batteries were starting to get very low. Uh, there should be somewhere with... Yeah, we've got a little bit of components over there. I would like those mined, if possible. But first, I need to check on everyone's health. You're fine. Initial is okay. Minor is where we restrict them. But for now, things are alright. Becker is not too happy about... Becker, would you like to... Oh, wait, wait. Let me make sure that this is all in the new zone. Uh, so, indoors needs to now include all of this. Or this, 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 and indeed this. And that should be good enough. We'll clear out this little part here from indoors. There we are. Becker, go ahead, wake up, go to sleep. Or, or not. Oh, you know, you can just we can get some food instead. There we go. Now good sleep. Perfect. 
I will be setting up their work schedules soon. Um, I think at least one person's a night owl, actually. Are you a night owl? No. Who is? Neurotic night owls. Carly, I'm going to swap your sleep around. In fact, I need to double check what night owl is. So, from the hours of 11 to 6, you need to be asleep. Alright. So, Carly, we'll go to sleep at 10. We'll sleep all the way through. Because you'll full-on get a bad mood for being awake at those times. So, we'll just set that up. There we go. We just need a little bit of uh, steel there to create the wiring. Ooh, major brake risk. Oh dear, what's wrong, Lisa? Let's have a look at you. You're in a moderate amount of pain, naked, sick, disturbed sleep. I really should have gotten those parkers, shouldn't I? Damn it. Hmm. Wasn't it a parker? Someone else has already nabbed it. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. I, w I will make it a priority to get you some clothes soon. <laughs> ah, so sorry, Lisa. Um, the thing is, we've actually got some leather in there. I guess we could build an electric tailoring station. We've only got four components, though. Yeah, build a tailoring station. We do need it. Um, build it there, sure. And then we'll get a steel stool as well. I know I'm using a lot of steel right now. I, I am completely aware. We're making our progress towards getting some decent... Oops, let me uh, make sure that there is power up there. We're making some progress towards getting some decent stone cutting, though. Rejected proposal. Carly has rejected Gun's marriage proposal. Gun is going to be unhappy about this. Oh, Really? Isn't all the time for this kind of stuff? My proposal was rejected! Minus 18! My life is over! Psychic like drone, every colonist of female gender winces in pain. That is super bad, except you're psychically dull, so it's not going to be as super bad for you. Still there, though. Ugh. Right. We really need something. Um, let's get... It's a bit cold, so how about a fur coat? Can we make this out of... Yeah, we can make it out of any leather, cloth. Yeah, we can we can make quite a few of them. Okay, well, I would like... Um, do until you have... Let's see. We don't want that many. Let, let's, let's make... Four fur coats for now. So crack on with that if someone has the ability to. I don't think anyone does, unfortunately. Uh, no, actually, Lisa might be able to do that for us. Lisa, if you can make yourself a fur coat, that would be glorious. But we've got to find a place for a final bedroom as well. Somewhere. We're also going to want to start making more meals, I think. Let's do until we have, let's say, 20 on both. There we go. And they'll take care of that once we've eaten a couple more meals. We are starting to run out of power now, though. Though That is quite worrisome. And we lack the means to make more solar power plants at this point. So, I'm going to queue them up. Those two, at least, because they'll automatically connect to everything. <sighs> it's going to be a while, though, before we can do it. Psychic drone is still a problem. Needs warm clothes. Extreme break risk. Come on, Lisa. Hold it together. Urgently hungry. In a moderate amount of pain. Psychic drone. Naked, sick. Ugly environment. I'm doing my best. I really am. I'm genuinely doing my best. Trying to keep everything going for you. There we go. Some components. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Yes. Yes. Get it built. We need the power. Thank you. How are you doing, Lisa? Okay, it's improving. Very rapidly improving, actually. Okay, so what are you up to right now? You're just relaxing socially. Ah, oh, there we are. That's good. I'm pleased. I'm pleased that you're no longer going to break on us. 
Um, Buttercup is still trying to snooze. Fortunately, it is difficult in this place. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a new room around here, I would say. Um, sure. It's not a very big room. Let's cancel that. Let's go with something around here. Well, where is that going to end? The wall should be in line there, so... Sure, okay. One, two, three, four. No, we want five. There we go. That's a proper sized room for you. And... We can just have this place roofed over. So let's actually zone this to have a roof on this area. Then a roof all over this area. Then make sure there's always roofs around here, just in case, you know, anything breaks through, smashes roofs. I'm not sure how likely that is, but, you know, you occasionally get drop pods in the middle of your base. So I figure this, you know, it's not going to not gonna hurt to have that there. There we go. Right, well, if we can get that sorted out, then we can build a new room. And uh, we may as well just dig all that away. Now, you're going to have some dirt in your room, unfortunately. It's going to be the first bedroom that actually has dirt there. Floors, we want to remove these stone floors around here. And all of these rocks, let's uh, make sure we've got them all selected properly. They can all be moved. There we are. Perfect. Well done, everyone. Got a little bit more mining than we need to do over here, and at this point I do need to check on everyone's health. How's everyone doing? Initial miner. Right, the nickels, you are restricted. Okay, the nickels, you're restricted to indoors only. Also, we need to expand that. We always need to keep on top of this. There we are, this is now considered an indoors area as well. There we go. And the last little bit. Fantastic. There we are. That should be fine. Now, this is where we discover that actually, no, no, it, 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 it isn't about the roof. It's actually about exposure to the outside, in which case it's going to be very bad, but, you know. Right, stone cutting is done, so the next thing I would really like is basic fuses. Let's get that on the go. Ah, food poisoning from a simple meal again? What is this? Right, reinstall this, please, down here. We'll get rid of those. Shift those out of there, and we'll get some lovely furniture in here as well, just to improve the rest you get from this room. There we go. Now, as for floors, we need these smoothed, as well as these smoothed. Oh, there's some dirt over there as well. Well, there's not a lot I can do about that. I mean, ooh, dear. We've got a major break risk in Lisa. Why is that? What is wrong? Moderate amounts of pain. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Right, a group of pirates from the deep group have arrived nearby. They're attacking immediately. There's two of them. Now, they have got some decent gear. They've got... Well, I mean, it's not amazing gear, but it's... Uh, cargo shorts... That's actually better for hot weather, so it's not great for us. But alright. Yeah. Let's uh, get ready for a fight, then. Now, they're coming down from the top, so it means they're likely either going to come through this side or this side. Lisa, you can stay asleep. Buttercup? No, no, no. I meant to unselect you. There we go. Everyone else, in you go. Let's get into position quickly. Are they all filtering down? So, first, I would like you there. You there. There. I would like you. And, uh, unfortunately, you can't stand there. Dread. All right. Do your best. There we go. All the shooting. All the shooting now. Oh dear. How badly hurt. Okay, it's going to be nasty. Just keep shooting. There we go. And they're already fleeing? Really? No. I think not. Get out there. Get into defensive positions quickly. Um, Gentry, you always seem to get the rough end of the, the, the stick, really. Sorry about that. We need furniture, and we need a steel bed, and we will have it in here, and it will be for hospital. Ah, uh, you know what? No. No, you you can you can recover. No, that's way too dirty. I was going to say, you can recover in, in the garden. It'll be lovely. Then I was like, ah, oh, yeah, where it's all filthy all the time. No. 
you can recover there. We'll get that set up. You're, you may as well take part in this fight, actually. Come on. Come on. More shooting. Ah, he's, he's skedaddled. Damn it. Right. Strip. Claim. Undrafted. Head on out. There we go. We're going to need a new grave, unfortunately. This is now for medical. So hopefully Gentry... Head on down, rest until healed, please. But that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed. We do need to set up a proper perimeter, and that's probably going to be the next focus for me. Up here isn't too bad because it's there's so much just regular rock. Um, we could easily make a perimeter out, out here, around there, and a perimeter down here, for example. And then we'll make a proper entryway into the colony that we can actually set up with some really awesome defenses. We can even do that a little bit down here, honestly. This little little corner here would be good for a little defensive area. I'm going to be looking forward to playing with the new turrets. We've already got, uh, I believe, one of them, which is the gun complex. And we can also build the shallow moat just to slow people down. And we will be doing all of that. I'll probably be using deadfall traps significantly less in this colony than I usually do. But that really is it for me. So until next time, and as ever, do take care, everyone.